the Hobi Tiger is fast approaching its 30th anniversary and there are more Hobi Tiger bargains out there than ever before. When looking at performance for your dollar, pound, euro or Swedish crown, the Hobi Tiger offers more than possibly any other type of catamaran. Hello, yes that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. We're going to be looking at the five most important factors you should consider before buying a Hobie Tiger. And we're gonna finish off with the biggest factor that should influence your choice. And then finishing off, finishing off with a bonus tip which makes the Tiger possibly one of the best choices you can make. If you're already experienced in sailing other catamarans and feel that you're ready to take it to the next level, this could be the right boat for you. If you've been sailing anything else, in fact, like a Hobie 14, 16, Prindle 15, 16, 18, a Dart 15 or 18, perhaps even a Dart 16, Hobie Wave, anything at all, and you feel that your boat handling is pretty good, then you should be ready to step up to the Hobie Tiger. Perhaps you're moving from sailing monohulls and you're looking to get into cat sailing and the Tiger looks like an exciting choice. You would be right if you've already sailed a boat which has um, a centerboard, which most monohulls would have, um, and a spinnaker especially, then you could move straight into the Hobie Tiger as your first choice of catamaran. If you haven't done much helming on the trapeze, then it's not out of the question to learn the helming on the trapeze on the Tiger because the Tiger has got a lot of volume and sits quite high out of the water, making it a very nice stable boat to get your trapezing sorted out. The Hobie Tiger is a very fast boat which has dagger boards and a spinnaker. Now, you can of course sail the Tiger with the dagger boards not put down fully, but if the area of water where you're gonna be sailing isn't deep enough to sail with the dagger boards down, then I would suggest going for a boat which perhaps has skeg or asymmetric hulls, so you're not gonna be quite as on a code brown continuously for am I gonna hit the bottom with my dagger boards. Then you're gonna need a reasonable space of water as well because the boat is fast. And unless you want to be tacking very frequently, a decent size gonna be a good starting point for sailing a boat like this. Now the Hobie Tiger is an absolutely great choice for every aspect of catamaran sailing, whether it's club racing, long distance cruising, or perhaps as a training boat for sailing an F-18 before you take the plunge and buy a modern F-18. The Formula 18 catamaran class, or F-18, is a restricted development class where any manufacturer can build the boat to certain specifications, such as length, width, weight, mast height, sail area, and so on. The Tiger really does suit many purposes. It's fast, it's stable. You can take out relatively inexperienced sailors on it. Of course, when you introduce the spinnaker, then it's gonna make it a bit more complicated. But yes, it has seriously got a lot going for it. The Tiger sadly has been surpassed by the more modern designs of Formula 18 catamaran, such as the good old design C2 or Acura, the Nacra Infusion or Evolution, and the Windrush Edge, to name but a few. However, if you're wanting to get your first taste of Formula 18 competition without breaking the bank or being too nervous with a very expensive boat, the Tiger is certainly the most inexpensive way of getting into it 
and still having a chance of being reasonably competitive. The Tiger will really uh, do the best when the conditions are heavy. In the lighter winds, the more modern boats with the deep dagger boards and rudder blades and the more wing section on the mast are certainly going to be more competitive. Now, unfortunately, also if you're into handicap racing, like in club racing, uh, the Tiger is going to be punished for being part of the F18 class. So you're going to be sailing off the same handicap as the other types of F18. If you happen to be in South Africa, it is the perfect choice. South Africa happens to have the best, most active Hobie Tiger class in the world still getting nearly 30 boats at the national championships so if you happen to be South African buy a Hobie Tiger I certainly would. The Tiger is definitely a double-handed boat the ideal combined crew weight would be anywhere between let's say 140 and 200 kilograms for having a good time but less on the top end if you're looking to compete so I'd say less than 170 if you want to be competitive on the race course now that's not to say that you can't sail the Tiger with less weight or single-handed but you are going to be more restricted in the amount of wind that you can take her out in Another great reason why the Hobie Tiger is such a good choice of boat to buy is that the Hobie Tiger is the best selling Formula 18 catamaran of all time. Which means if you're looking to get into sailing a catamaran which has dagger boards and a spinnaker, there are more Hobie Tigers around than any other type of boat in that class so you're more likely to find one at an agreeable price in good condition so there you go the bottom line is if you're thinking about buying a hobie tiger then you probably should i'll be back soon on joyrider tv with some more thank you very much